Hey everyone, it's Marie here again, and I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way to make your own inserts for your traveler's notebooks. Now, um, I'm new to traveler notebooks. I, this is my first one, and I'm kind of playing around with it. You can see I've already made a little notebook insert here, um, and I'm going to be using these ThermoWeb um, clear designer toner sheets, and you can use these with some deco foil sheets and um, foil them and they're really beautiful. The uh, color I use for these are the Deco Foils Gold Shattered Glass. I have been loving this color and I've been putting it on basically everything. But I have a few pieces here that I'm going to be playing around with. I have one cut down to size for this little notebook that I'll be decorating and I'm just going to set that off to the side here while I show you just the basic way that you could build your own little insert. It's super easy. Now I just took a piece of cardstock. I cut it down to the size I wanted. You can cut it down to any size that you like. And then I just have some plain printer paper. And you just want to take this paper and trim it down to be a little bit smaller than your cardstock that you're going to use for your cover. So I just use like an A2 size piece of cardstock so it's like an A2 size card. Um, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. So I just trimmed down my paper to be slightly smaller than that so it would fit on the inside. Now go ahead and fold it in half all of your papers together. I don't know how many sheets I have here but I didn't grab a ton because once it gets a little bit bulky it's a little bit harder to um, attach it and build your little insert but just a small one. Now you can see that the edges um, they're not exactly um, flush some of those pages stick out there from the cover and you're gonna get that when you fold a bunch of pieces of paper together so what I did is I grabbed my guillotine trimmer and I just trimmed off those edges so that it'll fit inside the cover and it's gonna be all straight and flush and clean and pretty so I went ahead and I trimmed those up. Now I'm just going to decorate the front of my insert a little bit. And I'm just kind of doing some basic ink blending. You can get um, more creative on your own inserts if you'd like. But I just wanted to quickly decorate it just to show you um, that you can kind of customize your own little inserts um, any way that you'd like. And I am going to speed up this part because it's just some ink blending, a few different colors, and it took a little while to get in like, a nice blend so just went ahead and sped it up I am using some Brutus Monroe surface inks today the first color I used there um, the darker purpley pink is called Marsala and I just love that color it's it's just a really nice rich um, like I said a purpley pink color and then I grabbed my honeysuckle which is a light pink and I just blended these two together I just kinda wanted that honeysuckle to kinda help blend out my Marsala because I am kind of starting off with these colors I just recently got them so my ink blending foam pads aren't really broken in that well so they do kind of leave a little bit of streaks um, so I'm just kinda blending them together trying to get a nice soft blend um, and then after I have a little bit of a ombre blend to my cover I grab some um, phone book surface spray and I just tapped on a few splatters here and there I just thought that would be really nice now one of the cool things about the surface spray is it does not mix with your inks it's gonna hold its color so it didn't make like a muddy color at all it just really held its yellow color so I thought that was really cool then I went ahead and I dried it and now I'm gonna put my pages inside so the way you the way I do this anyway is really simple I just slip my pages inside and then I grab my stapler and I'm just gonna staple them in now you can see here I can't fit my notebook inside my stapler it's too long it's not gonna fit hit the middle when I try to staple it so if you run into that problem a really easy fix is grab a towel or a washcloth or a piece of fabric or something that you have on hand. Go ahead and open up your stapler and then you're just going to put your insert with the pages down on your cloth or your towel or whatever you're using. Now I want my staples to fold on the inside so I'm going to put it cover side up. So go ahead and put it down on your towel, line up your stapler and go ahead and staple. And since you're pushing it into this fabric, it's not going to close the staple. You'll be able to flip it over and then push down those staples with a um, bone folder or another tool or your finger. Just be careful if you're using your finger because these staples do get um, 
sharp <laughs> and if you poke yourself it's it's not all that fun so just go ahead like I said line it up staple it and sometimes you might get a staple like this one that didn't want to close just pull it out and try again so that's how I pretty much built my inserts really quick and easy great for um, beginners if you're starting out with a traveler's notebook and you're not sure if you like it you don't want to spend all the money on the different inserts or the different sizes go ahead and play around with it and they're just really quick and easy little inserts that you can put in your traveler's notebook you can use them for lists you can use them for um, to-do list grocery list you know just brain dump kind of things um, do a little bit of journaling in them, quotes, whatever. Really great, quick and easy little notebooks. Now this one that I had made previously, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate. I have some of this clear toner sheet from Decafoil. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere it using some of my Brutus Monroe craft glue. I love this glue, um, comes in a few different sizes. It hold, you, you have a little bit of wiggle room when you use this liquid adhesive, but it kind of dries pretty quickly and it holds really well. So I've been loving it. So I'm just adding a little bit behind these um, foiled stripes kind of going to hide that glue behind where it's foiled and then just stick it on top of my insert and just decorate it with that. Um, these foil, these clear acetate um, foil sheets have been really great. I'm going to be trying to do a shaker card with them in the future. I think that would just be um, fantastic and really fun. Um, but anyway, I just cut this piece down to size to fit on top of my little insert here. And then I'm going to also glue down my die cut pieces. Now I combined a few Brutus Monroe stamp sets for this. I used their Cozy Coffee stamp set for this um, coffee cup here. And then I used their Donut Worry stamp set for the donut. And I colored it with um, colored pencils and I put a little bit of Nouveau Drops on the frosting to kind of give it some dimension. So that's how I created that. Um, so that's pretty much the simple way to make your own little inserts. You can go ahead and put it in your traveler's notebooks. Um, you can play around with the different sizes, you know, decorate them however you'd like. Just customize them for whatever you like to do. So I've been really enjoying playing around with these ThermoWeb um, products this week. Go ahead and check out the rest of the Brutus Monroe Inspiration Team because they've been doing some fantastic things with these um, ThermoWeb products as well. And jump over to the ThermoWeb blog and website and check them out because they have been collaborating with us this week as well. So thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you are inspired by this video and that I will catch you again in the future. Bye!